So this is a good one. Another do it yourself kit. Do yourself it kit. Oh man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. This might be uh probably seen cleaner days. I'm pretty sure about that one. Let's get going. There's nothing I love more than a good challenge. And as if this as if this isn't challenging enough. They've got the AC condenser furnace leaking or peeing into the tub. Oh man, so we're gonna stick this bucket up in here. So we're just cleaning up now after we buzzed it all. And then we're gonna use some hydrofluoric acid to get all the marks off. Front is stuck really good. That'll get buzzed with 120, then 240. Then we're gonna get masking pretty soon, cleaning, cleaning the masking. So we got it all buzzed. We gotta grind it all off. It, it, that's a dandy, I love when we gotta do though, that's my favorite. Front is welded on really good, so we just buzzed it with 120, then 240, and that'll be fine with that. Those are never coming off. We've got this nice hose up here and we got our bucket in here with it filling up. So I don't know how we're gonna, we're gonna do in the interim. Maybe just leave the bucket here, let it fill up and then crash into the brand new tub overnight maybe. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get to it. So here we are. Give her one more. This is after we, uh, cause I had black marks all over it to saw. So how do we get rid of those? I cleaned it with the purple zap first, then I scrubbed it with, well, the purple zap is already on there and I'm cleaning with that. I use hydrofluoric etching paste. This guy right here, put it on the scotch Bright pad. You don't need to pour the etching paste on the tub. There's no point. Put it right on your pad and then scrub it into your pad with your cleaner already in there. Once you get over here, you just come back and re-scrub it in again, all the black just comes right off. And if you can see, it actually is etched. You don't really need to etch that much when you're using a, a really good bonding agent like Crosslink 3. But you can, if you micro etch if you want. I've done all types of testing. It sticks better if it's super, super clean and not etched, but it might stick like 2% better. But in all the tubs, they're, they're just etched from wear on the bottom anyway, so, and it sticks like crazy. So let's get this clean with the purple zep one more time, and then we'll get it dry and mask up. Apply the resins, let's get going. So we just finishing up the cleaning process a little bit here. Get the final rinse down on it. We'll rinse this three or four times like this. But I did a video, I don't know, maybe 13, 14 years ago. I'll put it up right here. <laughs> this is the biggest feet of caulking I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> guy is holding the camera's crack up too i can't believe this and that in that video i depicted the largest caulking bead i have ever seen in my life and i have to say today is a new day where that record was beat and if you look very closely here this is almost three fingers wide or over an inch and a half and this is pure silicone that's been put in there again and again and again. You can see it bend in there. Look at it. That's caulking. Look at that. Three fingers wide right at the top. That wins the prize. Let's get back to this. So if we look at this, this before I sanded this, like I, I took my big sander and I ground this and made it completely smooth. But um, there, it's porous. This is actually wearing through that those light spots there as it's going through the gray porcelain and it's impossible to keep clean you can't keep this clean so the other thing is is i've got this bucket up here i'll have to come back tomorrow and get it because it's catching all the liquid which is not dripping that much but it'll i've got to put a resin on this <laughs> and it takes a few hours for it to dry so you can't have it leaking water on on the on, on the soft resin that's no good so this will call this will cause your bathtub to fail this will cause this to all screw up. 
It might not happen in a year, but it, it'll happen. This is causing excessive wear. This should be plumbed someplace in the in the in the in the in the drain someplace, not here, not in your bathtub. That's that's silly. I don't even think that's even, you know, obviously I don't even think that's even code, but who, who cares what code is? It doesn't make any sense. I wouldn't have that there. That's gonna that's gonna cause your bathtub to, to have problems later on down the road. All right, we're getting ready, we're gonna start masking up and then we're gonna apply the resins to it. The front is stuck really good, so we don't have to take that off. Um, we're gonna pray that this stays up here for a long time, doesn't fall down in our tub overnight. And uh, let's make her brand new. Get up my magic wand. One, two, three. And we are all brand new. Look at that. She's all white and so brand new. Oh my goodness. No more gray. And that's even nice and shiny now. So is that. All right, guys. See you on the next one. And then I'm going to go get my bucket sometime probably tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't smash into my job. Goodbye.